Hey guys, welcome back. So to start off this week, we're over here on the other side of the creek at the moment, the side of the creek closest to the road. And as you recall, we picked up a few logs at the end of last week. We've actually got five of them over here. And these are white oak logs that we're going to be using for the deck boards when we redo the old covered bridge that goes across the creek here. Now, of course, before we can do anything with these, we've got to haul them across the creek and get them over towards the mill. So that's gonna be the first thing that we are working on for this week. All right, so we got all of our logs across here and we got them stacked up right back here. So they're kind of out of the way, off to the side. But the next thing for today that I want to do is this is a very old table saw and it's actually called a tilt top table saw. Say that five times fast. Tilt top table saw, tilt top table saw. And as best I can figure, it dates back to like the 1930s, maybe. Anyway, I've never used it. This was one of my grandfather's many odds and ends of stuff. Uh, so I'm, I brought it out here. We're going to see if it works. I think it's going to need a little bit of uh, uh, working with, clean up some of the rust, get parts moving a little bit better before we can use it. But you never know, it might come in handy. So anyway, I brought that out today. We need to get that lifted up into the loft area. And then also, and I'm not sure if you can really see it back in there, but I've got a set of tires. And those are actually the tires that came with the hay wagon running gear, which is somewhere over in here. And originally, I didn't think they were gonna work for what I wanna use that for, which is a mobile chicken coop. I didn't think the weight rating was gonna be good enough, but since I'm now going to be doing a separate kind of wagon for the feed, that's gonna knock off a lot of weight off from the coop part itself. So I think those tires are gonna be fine. So I brought them back out here and we're gonna put those up in the loft as well. And I'd actually like to start doing a little bit of work on that sometime so anyway we'll have the the tires out here to replace the ones that are on there whenever we're ready to start on that project
Okay, next small project for today is since I want to be doing a little bit of work with the uh, the hay wagon running gear. Oh, crawling up my arm. Get off there. There we go. I don't have the drawbar on the old Massey Ferguson at the moment, but I brought that with me, and so we're gonna try getting this thing back on there so that way we can move the wagon around when we need to. <clears throat> that thing's heavy. Okay, so I've done a little bit of uh, shopping here the other day and the first thing I picked up is some of this stuff right here which is a paint stripping gel. So I've never used any of this stuff before but supposedly what you can do is you just slather this on real thick onto whatever it is that you're trying to peel the paint or varnish or whatever off from. You let it set for 10 or 15 minutes then you come back and you can just kind of wipe it up and, or kind of maybe scrape it up a little bit and it takes the paint with it. I don't know, never done it before so we're going to give that a try. And then also I picked up some of this stuff right here and this has to do with the bridge project and we'll walk over there real quick and then I'll explain a little bit more of why I need this. So part of the structure of the old bridge here are these rods that run up through the deck boards and then they go into the arch beams that go across the bridge. Now if at all possible I really want to reuse these rods again when we redo the bridge and get everything repaired back up but as you can see these are very very rusty they're well they're about a hundred years old and for the last three years since we haven't had the covering on here they've been exposed to rain and snow and ice and all sorts of stuff and that's not helping at all to make them come off any easier either so in preparation for starting to do some work on here i'm going to start hitting the bolts with this probably every day i'm out here just to hopefully get them a little bit loosened up to make it a bit easier to save these rods for use again later So what we'll work on for a little bit here next is seeing if we can't get the wheels off from the hay wagon here and get these old rotted out tires off from the rims. All right, well that's the first two done. I've actually never done like a full size tire like this before. I've done smaller ones for, you know, a lawn mower or a wheelbarrow, something like that. Never done one that quite this big before. They're a little bit harder. Uh, definitely take a little bit more to get these things off. It also probably doesn't 
help at all but they're you know who knows how old and they've kind of been on there a while and they're kind of a little bit stuck on to it I'm gonna have to clean the rims up a little bit well I'm gonna have to clean them up anyways cuz I've actually got some paint coming in I'm gonna redo the rims I'm hoping to really get a good job on the whole thing here before we start putting the mobile chicken coop on top of it but for now I'm just working on the rims trying to get those uh, in somewhat decent shape so it's a little bit easier to move this thing around last day for this week and I remembered to bring some paper towels out with me today so we can start messing with some of this paint stripper and see if we can't get the paint off from the kind of the insides of these window frames. paint stripper to do its thing. We're going to come down here and see if we can't do a little bit of work getting these rims for our hay wagon running gear cleaned up a little bit, get the rust cleaned off from them, and get them somewhat ready to repaint. Alright, well, we have well surpassed our 30 minutes. We're actually closer to an hour now, which that's fine because it can go up to 24 hours of sitting on here. So I've grabbed myself a nail because I need something to scrape with. And this, since it's round, it'll kind of fit into the rounded trim part of this inner part of the window frame. So let's give this a try. Alright, well, it worked fairly well. I mean, it's definitely easier than trying to get in there and sand it off. As you can see, I kind of got as much off as I could. Uh, then I went around and I put a coat of the stripping stuff over the whole thing where there's still paint left. So we'll let this set for another, I think an hour seemed pretty good. And we'll come back and scrape it up, wipe it up, and see what's left.
All right, and we're back up here again, and we're gonna check on our window frame here and see if this paint's ready to get white, scraped, whatever, off from there. All right, well, we got that one frame pretty well cleaned up. There's still a little bit left on it, and I'm not quite sure what's gonna happen with this. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what happens once it, this stuff sort of completely dries, how hard it's gonna be to get the last little bit cleaned up. So I'm not gonna put any on any of the other ones until I'm sure that this is gonna work on this one that I'm kinda testing it with. So I'm just gonna leave this one for now. I'll come back to it in a couple days and we'll kinda see what it's like and how hard it's gonna be to clean the last little bit of this remaining paint that's on there, get that all cleaned up. So we're gonna hold off doing any more of that and now I'm gonna go back to work on some of these rims over here. They've been cleaning up pretty well. I think I'm gonna have to come back and clean up a few other spots on them. Just get them a little bit better. There's some rust on the rims that I want to get cleaned up real well before we repaint them hopefully next week. I've been using flat disc on the angle grinder. I've never used those before but they're working really well. I like them and I need to get some more of them because I'd gotten a kind of variety pack of discs with my super expensive Harbor Freight grinder that I have over there. And so it gave me like one 36 grit, 160 grit, and one 120 grit, I think, or something like that. So I need to pick up some more of these because I'm definitely going to be using them again in the future because I really like them. But hopefully I should be able to finish off these rims with what I have here at the moment. Alright, well we got these pretty well cleaned up. I'll probably come back and do a little bit more touch up on them next week before we start painting on them, but they're more or less good to go. So like I said, I want to do a little bit of testing with this stuff, make sure it's not going to stain the wood or anything like that. Uh, so we'll come back, we'll check this next week and see what that one frame looks like that we were messing with today. And then hopefully it's going to be fine. We'll be able to get it cleaned up the rest of the way without too much difficulty. And then we can start doing all the rest of them and getting them cleaned up as well. I think that my paint for the rims should be coming in on Monday. And then I also need to get some new valve stems for these as well. You know, you might as well replace those while you're at it. Make sure those are good. And then hopefully we might do a little bit of milling as well. Because I've had those white oak logs sitting over there for... I guess a week now? I think something like that and I haven't gotten around to doing anything with them yet so hopefully we might get into doing something with those, getting those milled down into our bridge deck boards maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So anywho, that is going to be it for this week. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next time.